Hey, good morning, mortar marchers. Okay, WTF, this is what that means. Why this face? I have to think about common sense, and, and I thought this morning, you know what, there's just a, not a lot of common sense anymore in this world, and I'm going to be thankful and grateful today for my common sense. I've got some pretty good common sense, things that make sense to me that that I take to heart that are a part of my belief system, my upbringing, my family, and I look at other things that people are saying, and I'm thinking, what in the world is going on with this? What is wrong with these people? But I guess it's not wrong, it's just common sense to them, I guess. I don't know, but... I encourage you to deep, dig deep and say, you know, what makes sense to you? What feels right? What seems like the right thing to do in your life? Because you're going to be responsible for your family. You're going to be responsible for the people in your life that are that look up to you as a mentor or to, for an example or to set the example for them. What makes common sense to you? And then try to impart that uh, belief system, if you will, that idea of just looking at things on the on the surface and going, what, what, what? So that's why I made that face. Why this face this morning? So I'm going to be thankful and grateful today for the common sense that I have in my life. And I hope that you will too. Because common sense is what's going to keep you sane, if you will, when people are saying and doing and, and acting in crazy ways to, to what I believe would be crazy that make no sense to me that are going to you know, have consequences on down the road. I'm just going to be thankful and grateful for my common sense because truth be told, I'm the only one that can control what I'm doing. I'm the only one that can control me in my life, in my world. So I encourage each of you to take the time, lower your shoulders a little bit on this last, uh, one of the last days here of August. And uh, I won't be here next weekend um, on Memorial Day because it's a holiday and I'm going to take off and I'm just going to relax and enjoy and not think about anything except my family, my friends, and just having a good time. Today, I'm going to be thankful and grateful for my common sense. And I hope that you will too. So, here we go. The screen looks a little different this morning here. I wonder if they changed something on me again. I don't know. Who knows? Thankful and grateful for my common sense. And you can apply that to your life. What, what makes... Maybe you heard something that upset you or you saw something. You're like, I don't, I don't like that. That's weird. Well, don't focus on those negative things. Just focus on the things that make common sense to you. Then that gives you comfort. Be thankful and grateful for your common sense. All right, here we go. We're going to start our march. I hope you're doing this with me today. I'm thankful and grateful for my common sense. Thankful and grateful for common sense in my life. Thankful and grateful for common sense. That was one. Then we'll switch the other way. Thankful and grateful for common sense. Thankful and grateful for my common sense. Common sense. That was one set. We do three sets. Thankful and grateful for my common sense. I have common sense in my life, and I'm thankful and grateful for that. It's the only thing that's going to get you by in some of these insane world. Thankful and grateful for my common sense. My common sense. My common sense. So today, I guess I'm going to identify as having common sense. That's the look. Thankful and grateful for common sense. Thankful and grateful for common sense. I identify with common sense. <laughs> oh, I have to laugh at some of the crap I see going on. Thankful and grateful for common sense. Thankful and grateful for my common sense. I have common sense. Thankful and grateful for my common sense. Because when you do this, when you think about embracing the idea of common sense, then that brings that into your DNA because you're thinking it and you're using this mortar march, this positioning to talk to the brain and the cerebellum to reprogram your physical body into believing and aligning with what you're saying verbally and what you're thinking mentally and what you're doing physically. That's how you create changes in your body. That's how you create changes in your life. So be thankful and grateful for your common sense. <laughs> I hope this worked today. I don't know. Bye. I'll see you. I will see you next Monday. Oh, there we go. First Paul, man, I'm glad you're here. Holy smokes, I almost missed my common sense. So I'll see you guys, uh, not next Monday because it's a holiday and I'm going to be off and just relaxing, having fun in my garden and mowing and working in my shop and playing with my dogs and maybe Jan and I will go on a trip. I don't know. We're going to have fun because our field remains disorganized. We're not organizing our field like old people do. We're going to keep our field flexible, malleable. And I hope that you'll do the same. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hey, Marvin. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend or a wonderful week this week after a great weekend. We, I did things this weekend I haven't done in a long time or I've never done before. Went to a, a Razor Hill Climbing Rally and a Bounce Buggy Rally and 
got all dusty and dirty and just laughed. And I thought, this is really crazy. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for the love, guys. I appreciate you. Hope you'll share this. So, you know, don't scare them off with the WTF. It's just why this face. <laughs> That's what common sense is about. Hey, I love you guys all. I'll see you in a couple weeks. I'm Dr. Ted. Bye.